What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be going over the new quality of life changes that Bethesda just implemented into Fallout 76. So sit back, relax, and I hope y'all enjoy. Overall, I really enjoy the changes that they implemented into the game today. Um, I guess first things first, let's just go over the uh, stash weight uh, changes they added. As you can see, now in our stashes, we can carry up to 1,200 pounds. What well, we started out with stash weight limit at 400 pounds, I believe, then we moved our way up to 600 and then 800, and now 1,200 pounds we can carry. That's incredible. At least for me, I have a problem with hoarding. I always hold on to things thinking I may use it sometime in the future for some other build I might do or something. I don't know. I just always hold on to things, especially rare plans too. I like to hold on to them because I don't know if one of my other characters want them or if someone that I talk to or if someone may want them in a trade or something. I don't know. It's nice now that we can carry up to 1,200 pounds. I mean, as you can see, look at my carry weight. I've been hoarding things even in my inventory because my stash was just getting filled on all of my characters. That's the sad part, but at least I'm admitting it. You know, I have a hoarding problem, okay? <laughs> but uh, also, I wanted to get into the new tabs that Bethesda just added. Check it out up top if you noticed. We now have more organization with the tabs up top. As you can see up the top, we have inventory, favorites, weapons, armor, apparel, which these are new. They used to be joined together. And now they're separate to help with organization a bit better. I like that. Also, we now have food and drink and aid. It used to be just aid, but now we have food and drink to help once again with our organization a bit more. Anyways, we also have still uh, miscellaneous, hollow tapes, notes, junk, mods, and ammunition. But yeah, pretty awesome. We now have a bit more organization within our inventory as well. So anyways, since I got into the tabs within our stash, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like now when we pull up our pit boy As you can see, we now have a category called new. Basically how this is going to work is whatever you pick up in your play session is going to count as something new. And it's going to be in order from the earliest pickup to the latest. So that's going to be pretty handy. Let me go ahead and just give a demonstration real quick. I believe I have a dead enemy around. Actually, I have an enemy nearby. Would you look at that? We got an example. There he is. Go ahead and take him out. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up whatever he has. Okay, he had a multi-purpose axe. So, now as you can see, in my new category, it shows I picked this up not even a minute ago. Um, which is also something really neat. It shows how long ago you got it, too. Which is pretty convenient. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this other stuff here. Okay, just for some other examples. Now pull up my inventory here. As you can see, it shows I picked up the combat shotgun and shotgun shells not even a minute ago, as well as the multi-purpose axe still, too, which is pretty neat. Um, it didn't show, however, the junk item that I picked up, which was nuclear waste. But still, nonetheless, something pretty sweet and useful. Also, I wanted to point this out as well. If you notice down at the bottom right, it shows the weight as well as the stack weight, too which that's something else new for our inventory and pretty handy for us as well. Let's us know what's really, you know, weighing us down. As you can see, for one example, these nuclear key cards are really weighing me down. Now, I officially have room, though, to put them in my stash, which I'm going to be doing a lot of stash managing soon. But, yeah. Anyways, that's another thing that was added new. That's pretty beneficial for us. Also, something else to point out here within our pit boy, we also have armor and apparel, food and drink, and aid, just like how it was with our stash. So we have that set up now within our pit boy too. Once again, to help with organization a bit more. I really like that. Um, something also here that I wanted to show you all. They did change up um, the build mode as well. They made it a lighter blue, and the reason why they did this is to make it more friendly for players who have color blindness. That's why they changed this from green to now, as you can see, this color, to now, as you can see, this color, like a lightish blue. I think that's pretty awesome of the developers to do that. I have no problem with this, but um, just an FYI, it still shows red, though, if you know you can't actually place it there. But if you're good to place it there, it will show this light blue now. Once again, to help out players who have color blindness. Anyway, something else that I wanted to show you has to do with vending machines. But unfortunately, I am in a private server at the moment. So let me go ahead and back out of here and go into a public server and show you what they changed up with uh, vending machines. All right, so I'm in a public server now. 
Let me go ahead and show you one of the changes when you hover over people's camps. As you can see, this guy is a perfect example here. He has five one-star weapons, four three-star weapons, two four-star weapons, and one two-star armor. So yeah, that's one good example. Eh. Here's another example. This guy has four three-star armor pieces here. So this lets us know before we go what kind of three-star, two-star, one-star weapons and armor they have selling at their vending machine before we go you know, check it out. This helps us save a bit more time. Really like how the developers implemented this into the game. Once again, a bunch of quality of life changes that they added within this update. It's nice. This is something that the game actually needed. And over time, I'm sure they're going to continue to roll out updates like this to help improve our play experience to keep us engaged into the game. Anyway, something else that Bethesda added was now when we complete Elder Tier in Daily Ops, we will for sure be rewarded with something. We will no longer be rewarded with nothing. So. You know, that's good news. Other tier can be pretty difficult, so it makes sense to be rewarded with at least something. Also, there's something new going on in the game at the moment until February 16th. If you log into the game, you can go into the Atomic Shop and claim a free weapon skin. This weapon skin, as you can see, is called the Heart Wrencher. And this is something that we'll be messing around with in the game until February 16th. So we'll be completing challenges and whatnot and being rewarded with some goodies. I think this is awesome of Bethesda to do this, and hopefully they continue themes like this. This is personally to me a great idea. As you can see, the description for this skin reads, Show your enemies how much you truly love them with the heart wrencher. Be sure to check your challenges for limited time spread the love challenges. This skin will give your weapon a unique look and maintain all mod effects. So yeah, we're going to be having to run around with this weapon skin and do certain challenges that Bethesda requires us to do. Starting off here with the daily spread the love challenge, as you can see, we have to kill enemies with the heart wrencher at least five times, and we'll be rewarded one repair kit. Pretty neat. As for the weekly spread the love challenge, we get something unique, as you can see, if we kill at least 30 robots with the heart wrencher, we'll be rewarded the robe code t-shirt and shorts. So yeah, I highly recommend to log in to the game if, you know, collecting unique items is your kind of thing. Once again, this will be going on until February 16th. So you got time. But keep in mind, the weekly challenges are going to switch up. Next week, I'm sure we're going to get some kind of different unique item. But yeah, I'll be getting more into this limited time thing further in the future, possibly. For now, I'm just letting you all know that it's in the game. And if you want to participate in it, log in and come check out these challenges with the Heart Wrencher. But yeah, that's about it for this update. They also did a lot of fixes, too, as you can see here. But I'm not going to read off every single one of these. If you're interested in further investigating this though, feel free to check the link in the description. I'll have a link to this Inside of the Vault article that goes over all these fixes if you are interested in them. There are quite a bit of good ones, but I feel like this video would just drag on for a while if I just sit here and just read off every single fix that they have. I feel like that would be pretty boring to read off all of these. But yeah, I just want to be clear that this update did come with even more. It came with a lot of fixes within it. I mean, after all, like I mentioned in the beginning, this update was almost a 5 gigabyte download on Xbox. It was a 5 gigabyte download on PC Microsoft Store. As you can see, here are the download sizes. For Xbox One, it was a 4.8 gigabyte. For PlayStation 4, it was a 4.2 gigabyte. For PC on Steam, it was a 2.0 gigabyte. For PC, if you got it on the Microsoft Store, it's a 5.0 gigabyte. And for PC, if you got it on Bethesda.net, it's a 1.6 gigabyte download. A pretty decent a pretty decent sized download just for some quality of life changes but yeah i'm out of here everybody thanks for taking the time watching and listening if you enjoyed this video consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like that would be greatly appreciated until next time though remember to try to stay safe out there during these unusual times peace